The war between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton isn't the only political battle Americans will decide in November. There are 34 seats up for grabs in the Senate, and Democrats are on a mission to retake control of the chamber. Here are five key Senate races to watch. In Arizona, Republican Senator John McCain fears, quote, the race of his life against his Democratic opponent, Representative Ann Kirkpatrick. McCain, once the GOP's presidential nominee, entered the race a clear favorite, but he has expressed concern about the effect of Donald Trump and his controversial stance on immigration. Trump is deeply unpopular among Hispanics, who make up 30% of Arizona's population. In the blue state of Illinois, Republican Senator Mark Kirk risks losing his seat to Democratic Representative Tammy Duckworth. Duckworth is an Iraq War veteran who won a Purple Heart after losing both of her legs in an explosion. During her time in the House, she's aligned herself with President Obama, who once held the Senate seat she's fighting for. Senator Kirk, also a veteran, has recently distanced himself from his fellow Republicans. Instead of endorsing Trump, Kirk tweeted, quote, Given my military experience, Donald Trump does not have the temperament to command our military or our nuclear arsenal. Kirk was also the first Republican senator to meet with President Obama's Supreme Court nominee, Merrick Garland. In Florida, the race is on for Republican Senator Marco Rubio's seat. After initially declining to run for re-election, Rubio decided he will indeed compete for the seat. Rubio will likely face Democratic Representative Patrick Murphy, a young moderate and strong fundraiser who has the backing of President Obama. I'm asking you to join me in supporting Democrat Patrick Murphy for U.S. Senate on Tuesday, August 30th. Over in Ohio, Democrat Ted Strickland is targeting the seat of incumbent Republican Rob Portman, and Strickland is tying the senator to, you guessed it, Donald Trump. The race is largely centered around the economy. Strickland has attacked Portman for advancing trade deals and shipping jobs abroad, while Portman says that Ohio was ravaged by job losses when Strickland was governor. Retread Ted Strickland. He's changed. The attacks could make Ohio's Senate race the most expensive nationwide. Last but not least, Wisconsin. Senator Ron Johnson is considered one of the most vulnerable Republican incumbents, and he's up against progressive Democrat Russ Feingold. Feingold is a liberal who is focused on making college affordable and supporting the Affordable Care Act. Those issues have been popular among Democratic voters throughout the primaries. Come November, Republicans will be defending 24 seats to the Democrats' 10. Big picture, Democrats will need to gain five seats to retake control of the Senate, unless Democrats take control of the White House. And then they'll only need four. That's because the vice president breaks 50-50 ties.